Hi, Firestarter here with my toy review of um, the Zelda line of Street Fighter Alpha. What I have right here is M. Bison. Um, I got this uh, a few years back and it has been on my shelf for quite a long time. Maybe three or four years or so. Actually, this is my last purchase of the uh, Street Fighter Alpha toy line. Um, I already removed it on the box because uh, it's made out of just cardboard and plastic. You can't really put it back on its box, so I threw it away. This toy comes with um, two sets of hands. I already replaced this with um, this, so it has a, it has more variety when it comes to poses. Um, it also comes with an extra head, one a frowning and bison, and one has an evil grin. Um, I like the evil grin better, so I put it on. This cape uh, is made out of um, translucent fabric. I cannot pinpoint though which kind of fabric it is, but you can also see the lines on the fabric. It's not really well made and um, playing devil's advocate if I want to pinch one thread of it everything comes off. It's been held by two um, pegs which uh, you can easily take it off. Finally it comes with a fireball. The problem with the fireball and other accessories from SOTA you, can, you cannot easily peg it uh, in his hand it easily comes off it's really hard to put it in unless you have a scotch tape um, put it inside and then insert the hand but it will just ruin the paint job articulation wise uh, his arms moves um, up to this much uh, I cannot move it further because of the big shoulder pads. He has a nice reach though. He should be able to move his torso, but then again, uh, like I said, since it has been on my shelf for a few years, the paint has hardened the toy, so it's really hard to move um, in bison, even the articulation on the hands. Uh, you can see there's a ball joint over here, so it's possible. But the paint job, the, but the paint job has, has stiffened the toy, so I cannot really show you if it moves or not. Leg articulation, uh, it does. This leg doesn't swiv swivel from left to right, but only bends up to this much, because it has uh, two ball joints. And uh, there's also a ball joint on the feet. You can move his ankle up and down. There's also a ball joint on the on, on the toe, but it I I believe this is also useless because um, it has it just has a small opening, and it is also hindered by um, the tassels. I, I don't want to call it tassels, but it's a uh, plastic on top of the shoe. So that's basically it. You cannot uh, split the legs because uh, it is also hindered by um, his um, shirt. I don't want to call it skirt, so I don't know how to call it, but it is an excess of what he's wearing. It's very um, reminiscent of the old He-Man toys. Uh, I, I think that uh, if you want to compare it with other toys, you can uh, compare it with He-Man um, that was made during the 90, during early uh, late 80s to early 90s. Um, head from left to right, but um, not much articulation though. This is my toy review of the SOTA line for uh, Street Fighter Alpha. Um, 
do subscribe if you want more uh, reviews about these I actually completed the whole line if you want to uh, to find out um, what other Street Fighter Alpha toys looks like um, do subscribe on my channel and um, keep on uh, commenting on my channel as well so this is Firestarter thank you for listening and um, thank you